Detroit Lion fans, look, I am not a big fan of you guys. I never will be a big fan of you guys because I am a Vikings fan. However, I do have some good news for you guys. You guys have signed Frank Ragno to a four-year, $54 million extension, making him the highest paid center in the NFL. That is a pretty big deal, Nate. Uh, the first person to report it was Adam Scheffner of ESPN. And the uh, uh, Lions general manager, Holmes, he came out with a quote. He said, and I quote, he is a fundamental piece because Frank is a guy that plays the game the right way. He's everything that we look for and what we want as a Lion. Um, yeah, Nate, so a little bit on Frank Ragno. He is 24 years old, entering his fourth NFL season after being drafted in the first round out of Arkansas in 2018. Uh, he has started all 45 games and has appeared at first Pro Bowl berth last season. And we had a little, we talked about uh, Frank Ragno earlier uh, this year or later on last year when he uh, played. He played against the Green Bay Packers and he played through a fractured throat. So we talked, we did talk about that topic. We will leave that uh, video in the description below. Um, but yeah, Nate, uh, looks like Frank Ragno is going to be a Detroit Lion for the next four years. Um, and the source for this, obviously, like I said, was Adam Scheffner. He was the first one to report it, and it's ESPN. So I'll start off with you first. Your thoughts on Frank Ragno becoming the highest-paid center in the league? Oh, well, first of all, you know, congratulations to Frank Ragno. Uh, he's done a really good job out there in Detroit. You know, even though the, you know, the last four seasons he's been at Detroit really hasn't been a good team, he's still done a really good job, you know. And I, and I do appreciate how they're bringing more attention to centers, you know, because centers have to, you know, sometimes they have to, you know, use their voices. That's why that's why he ended up having that throat injury, uh, which I wish we also found very, very inter interesting because usually that stuff doesn't happen. But, you know, they have to scream, they have to yell, they have to snap the ball or the quarterback, usually they're the ones that do that. So he's done a really good job, you know, and centers usually often get regard uh, disregarded in football. You know, we, obviously, you know, the biggest position in – uh, football is the quarterback position. Then you then it's followed up with things like the wide receiver and the running back and the tight. It, you know what I mean? It's it's you know a, a lot of other positions in in football tend to get disregarded. So I'm glad that they're actually paying more attention. You know I'm glad they're actually paying more attention to that position and realizing that this guy is legit. You know what I mean? So with that being said, you know I hope Frank uh, Frank Ragnow um his throat gets better. We will leave that video in the description down below. We did talk about that. Um, with that being said, yeah, I wish him the best of luck in Detroit, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, well, again, congratulations to Frank Ragno. Even though I'm not a Detroit Lion fan, he is a guy that I am a big fan of. And, and I'm and let me tell you something. Um, even though I'm a Viking fan, I'm pretty optimistic about the Detroit Lions this season. I mean, obviously, you look in the draft, and they got uh, Panay Sewell uh, out of Oregon. So that offensive line is definitely going to become a big, big problem for other teams. Um, but yeah, it just shows you how underpaid centers are considering the fact that he's the highest paid and he's getting paid four years, uh, 54 million, you know, that's not really that big of a contract compared to offensive linemen has received like, uh, I know Ronnie Stanley received like an over a hundred million dollar contract for like five years. Um, then you go to the wide receivers, they get paid a lot. Quarterbacks, obviously I feel like they're the most, uh, high, they're highest paid except um, with an exception of if you are like Khalil Mack or if you're Aaron Donald then those guys definitely do get paid a lot too. So it just shows you how underpaid centers are. And I really do feel like centers are the most important part of the team. And because the reason why is because centers are not only the communicators, like you said, but they don't want to snap in the ball as well. And that is a very, very important thing. One missed snap could change the whole game, Nate. We've seen what happened in uh, Super Bowl 48, I want to say, 46. Yeah, that was the one where like he snapped it over Peyton Manning's head. Yeah, and I see yeah. It a bit. And, and that was like, and that was like the first play to like, and it, it kind of foreshadowed what was going to happen that whole game. And and look, I'm telling you, man, centers are very important in this league, and I feel like they should be paid more because everything runs through them. They're the communicators on that offensive line. They are the ones snapping the ball to the quarterback. Not only do they have to do the same thing as the other offensive linemen. But they have to not only guard the biggest men because the biggest men are in the middle of that defensive line. You got the two edge rushers. And the edge rushers are around like, I want to say big edge, rusher, edge rushers. They're around like 290, you know? Edge rushers are usually like 280, between 280 and 290. So, but then you look at the middle of the pack and you got defensive tackles who are like, the, the, who are like around 300 to 320 pounds, you know? So when you're ready to look at it, Centers might have the toughest position in the on the whole field as far as offense. Simple as that. They they might have the toughest position. They got to snap the ball. They got to communicate, and they got to guard the biggest men. If you ask me, I think that's the toughest position in the NFL 
The wide receivers only got to go up against one guy, maybe two if they get a double team. The quarterback just has to find the open guy and throw it, you know? The running back, obviously, their their job is a little tougher, too. They got to find the pockets and go. Um, offensive linemen, you know, they go 1v1, but they just got to worry about jumping up and, go and, and pressing. Center's got to do the same exact thing, except they got to snap the ball before they jump up. So I really do think, Nate, that center should be a, well paid over to what Frank Ragno is getting. But I'm glad that Frank Ragno is getting a recognition as one of the top centers in the league because I definitely view him that way. And I think he is a tough man. I do. I think I think he's a tough guy. Anybody who can play through a fractured throat, I got to give him a lot of credit, you know. And again, we always talk about, you know, being smart with your injuries. But again, tough toughness is toughness. And I got to give Frank Ragno a lot of credit in a tough sport like football. So again, with that being said, you know, I wish Frank Ragno the best of luck. Again, I wish uh, the Detroit Lions uh, good luck. Not too much luck. I'm not going to wish you the best of luck because the Vikings got to make the Super Bowl and got to win it so your boy can be happy. And if that means Detroit losing two oh, games. Oh, please. That's the Super gonna Bowl. This guy. <laughs> well, you got a problem with that, Nate? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Talk to my lawyer. But... But anyway, regardless, though, again, I wish Frank Ragnall the best of luck, and I'm curious to see how he's going to do this season.